Hey friends, and thank you for looking at facebook.com forward slash branding. And uh, I said I was going to be on vacation as of yesterday, and I still have my laptop. And no matter what, I'm mailing my laptop today. To, and I was waiting for some books and address. Uh, we send books and letters. She sends letters. I have yet to to Justin Brock, who's incarcerated in Virginia. The reason why I'm posting this now is uh, to explain some of what's going on. Uh, I'm needing to go on Seroquel because that's what will make my psychiatrist comfortable and right now that's a priority of mine to make him comfortable. Uh, if needed I need him to say that I'm completely compliant and all kinds of that stuff. Why might I need that? Uh, a week ago Friday I called Gary Kessler's office from my psychiatrist's office and before that I had made a legal case that my medical record is my property and that it is agreed that within my psychiatrist's office I can say anything I want but I use that space to say uh, I, I don't like go around lying to him for entertainment unless it's a card trick I've done a total of two card tricks for him uh, but as I have mentioned on my Facebook page uh, there is evidence of Gary Kessler being a dirty lawyer and it appears to me that there is evidence uh, there is evidence uh, that uh, Gary and BBDO Atlanta have worked in cahoots and uh, you know I've, I went down the path in terms of inquiring into compensation from them and I'm, I'm, I'm done I'm done with that uh, I'm more of a social activist I get enough money each month so I don't have a job and people tend to agree that I'm psychologically unemployable I'm okay with that uh, in terms of what's going on in Arizona area, in Tempe, there's a, uh, a self-proclaimed organization. There's this dude that runs this thing called Hand Up, Not Hand Out, and he gives bullhorns to people and pays them money to go and instigate stuff. And on Friday night in Tempe, uh, that dude who's the organizer was inside of the Tempe bullhorn free zone, the art zone. There's a bullhorn free zone for art, commerce in the name of art, but I want there to be a no bullhorn zone without a permit, uh, period. On uh, Friday night when I was exiting, I had to go and buy a metro ticket, and as I'm bending over to buy the metro rail ticket, there's a guy with a bullhorn, and he's screaming in my back about where some of my friends are going to spend eternity, and he's using, his aesthetics appear to me as Inquisition era aesthetics and I look up and there's three cops that are over there walking by not walking well their horses are walking by three cops on horseback and I say I feel like I'm being assaulted and the woman cop in the middle points to me and says that's free speech well I don't want to squelch free speech uh, I, I then said you guys call yourselves peace officers because when police with guns, when I say I'm being assaulted and they point to me and say, that's free speech, that's fucked up. I had felt people screaming shit with bullhorns on campus and at Arizona State University and it's no longer appropriate for me to be in this area. So that's part of the vacation thing and why I retracted my submission for application to ASU's Intermedia Art Program because right now I don't feel safe. Uh, uh, do I feel like I'm going to get beat up or thrown into jail or that kind of thing? No, no, not yet, whatever. I want to say not yet. I just don't think it's safe when a government, uh, when a, a civilian says to a police officer or peace officer, I feel like I'm being assaulted, I feel like I'm being attacked, and they say, that's free speech. Ain't okay. Now my psychiatrist wants to see me because he's afraid that I'm manic. <clears throat> okay. Do whatever he wants. To me this isn't being manic. To me this is being a responsible citizen. Uh, a couple last things. Wednesday, which is tomorrow, Wednesday at noon, there's a store on McDowell <coughs> 
And it says Mary Jane on the outside. It's close to the 51 freeway. It's no longer going to be called Mary Jane. It's going to be called Mr. T's. Mr. T's and Smoke. It's going to be the name of the shop. Um, uh, anyways, if you can meet us, bring paint supplies. We're going to change his outdoor sign from where it says uh, Mary Jane to say Mr. T's and Smoke. And that's tomorrow at noon. Uh, if you can help, I'll be grateful. Um, on April 24th, Damon White and Anna Zinova had come up with this idea of World Hacky Sack Day. And then the big idea that I imagine most of you have, have heard about is 12-12-12 being World Harmony Day. Wherever you're going to be on 12-12-12, when it's 12, 12 p.m., hold hands with whoever you're with, harmonize for a minute. I imagine that there's going to be thousands of people at every hour harmonizing. Uh, Anna and I have plans to be in Sydney, Australia together. That's where I'm planning on being. I hope she'll meet me there. <laughs>